Any moment, they could go left or right and take off. Can we get them to follow us all the way to the hay meadow? We gotta go through the burn unit first. They'll be going on a pasture they've never been before. And what we thought was afterbirth, there was no red dog to be found. And now we're in a race to save this cow. All right, so me and the girls are out here. We've got uh, the Dunbar Hoss herd right here, kind of waiting on, waiting on all of them to group up, and uh, so we don't have to. Hey, Daddy. Yes. Um, we got Maya and Hoss and. Uh, yep, there he is. And so we, uh, we got Peaches. Peaches is over there with Big Joe. Yes and no. Uh, so we're gonna wait on all of them. Hold on a second. We're gonna wait on all of them. Dunbar to come over, and then we're going to relocate them. Try to get them to follow us with a sack of cubes from the nine acres into the new hay meadow. So could be a challenge. I don't know. So we got to go through the burn unit first to get there, and then um, they'll be going on a pasture they've never been before. Um, we got. Uh, we don't have cubes. Yeah, we do. We got two sacks. Two sacks and two horses and that. Um, and Dunbar. And Dunbar and I got. I got, I got. Here, the rest of them are coming. Uh, hey, horse. Like, Excuse me. All right. Dunbar showed up. He's coming through here. Come on, Dunbar. Come on. Should just go that way, Dusty. You can, can try. try, sure. This is where it would be the most challenging for us, is going from the nine acres through the burn unit into their new hay meadow. The burn unit that we burnt last October is a total of 80 acres. We basically have to cut right through the middle of it. Got to cross a creek and go through an open field and try to get them to follow us through this acreage of lots of green grass into the hay meadow. My concern was, can we get them to continually to follow us with the cubes all the way to the hay meadow without stopping and grazing in the burn unit? Oh, well, they're grazing now. Come on! Woo!
This is a long stretch where we really had to be patient. At any moment, they could go left or right and take off and do their own thing. So I would stop every now and then, pour a couple of cubes out, let them know that we have cubes and they're getting some, and just hope that they continue to follow us. You're good, babe. You can see their immediate reaction once they entered the hay meadow. Their focus immediately changed and went to what was in the pasture. Lots of native grass. In April 2021, before we had the property, cattle were taken off the land for the last time from the previous owner and was now home to the American bison. For the first time since October of 2021, Marissa and I can say that our bison now have access to the entire property. In almost two years, with much effort, time, and money, working through Project 189, we have achieved this short-term goal. With still lots of work to do and more fence to build, we can't wait to make this place so much better for our bison. Me and the girls waited it out in the pasture to let the herd explore around and check all the new corners of the property. We were very excited to let these bison in this pasture. With this group of 25, which included Dunbar and Haas, our two breed bulls, and 23 two-year-old females, there was a lot of forage available for this herd. With lots of early rains this spring and summer and lots of rest, this 17-acre hay meadow exploded with native grasses. Our goal is to hopefully make the entire property and all of our pastures look like this one. And through our newly learned regenerative ag techniques, we hope to achieve this goal very soon. But it's going to take a lot of work, but we're ready for it.
Once the herd settled down and found their water tank, Marissa and Brooks and I, and Maya, went back to check the Big Joe herd and the red dogs. Big Joe! Uh. Now that the Dunbar and Haas herd has moved into their new pasture, there's 40 acres between Big Joe and Dunbar now. Which means the Big Joe herd gets to rotate in a new pasture. Seven. I see seven. Oh, it is? If you remember from the last video, one of our cows, who we call our Texas cow, had some particular tissue coming from her backside. And what we thought was after birth, doesn't look good. There was no red dog to be found, which raised some concern. After noticing the tissue and no calf, I called our bison vet, Doc Parsons. And after discussing with him what we saw, Doc stated that she should already have had the calf. But what we found the next day was unlike anything we had seen before. The highlight of our day of letting the Dunbar and Haas herd into their new pasture that we had worked so hard on came to a harsh reality when we discovered what was now coming from the Texas cow. Now it's a fight against time and in a race to save this cow. <laughs>